Hello everybody, I'm the Apple expert Hideki. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review a diecast model. There we go. It is 172 Magnum Douglas F4N Phantom 2 BF161 chargers CAG VAD of CVW5 from Hobby Master. The Magnum Douglas F4 Phantom II is one of the most famous fighters in the world. Development began as the US Navy's first all-weather twin-engine carrier-based fighter, but was later adopted by the US Air Force. In addition, it was adopted by many countries due to its success in the Vietnam War, and many various variants were made, and a total of 5,195 aircrafts were produced as representative aircrafts of the NATO countries during the Cold War. In the history of supersonic fighters, only four models, the F-4, MiG-19, MiG-21, and MiG-23 had been manufactured more than 5,000. In 1953, Magdalene Aircraft began work on revising its F-3H Demon naval fighter. However, the Navy was already satisfied with the Grumman F-9F, later renamed the F-11F1, and the Bolt F-8U which began development of supersonic fighters. In 1953, McDonnell Aircraft began work on reversing its F-3H Demon naval fighter. However, the Navy was already satisfied with the Grumman F-9F9, later renamed the F-11F1, and the Bolt F-8U which began development for supersonic fighters. The McDonnell design was therefore reworked into an all-weather fighter bomber with 11 external hard points as weapons. On the 18th of October 1954, the company received a letter of intent for two YAH-1 prototypes. However, 
the Navy was unable to qualify the requirements, so it was no promise to be put into the practical use. Then on the 26th of May 1955, the Navy presented the company with an entirely new set of requirement due to the Navy's needs for an all-weather fleet defense interceptor. For that reason, a second crew was added to operate the powerful radar. The designers believed that the air combat in the next war would overload solo pilots with information. It is also characterized by being the first double-seat carrier-based fighter of the US Navy. A pilot would be in the front seat, and the radar interceptor in charge of radar and navigation would be in the rear seat. On 25th January 1955, the Navy ordered two XF-4H1 test aircrafts and five YF-4H1 pre-production examples. The Phantom made its maiden flight on the 27th of May 1985. The XF-4H1 immediately challenged a competitive study with the XF-8U-3 Crusader 3, which has been prototyped as an all-weather fighter. Due to the operator's workload, the Navy wanted a two-seat aircraft, and on December 17, 1958, the F-4H was declared the winner. There was proposal to name the F-4H Satan and Mithras. In the end, the aircraft was given the name Phantom II. The first Phantom began one of the McDonald's earlier jet fighter, the F-H-1 Phantom. The F-4N is an early version of the F-4B, modified with the Service Life Extension Program (SLEP). A typical refurbishment item is avionics, which is equipped with an AWG-10 that uses the pulse Doppler method for the radar, which is a radar developed for the F-4J and was the first fighter to acquire look-down capabilities. In addition, the engine was changed from the conventional J79 GE-8 to the J79 GE-10, which has increased the output and caused exhaust smoke. In addition, the horizontal stabilizer has a slot attached to the front edge to improve maneuverability at low speeds. Improvements started in 1972 under a U.S. Navy instead refurbishment program called Project B-Line with 228 converted by 1978.
BF-161, the Chargers, began their history during World War II, flying in combat actions from the USS Lexington and USS Randolph. The Chargers participated in many Pacific campaigns, including the Battle of Choa, Work Islands, the Gilbert Islands, Black, and the famous Mariana Taki shoot. Following the war, the squadron was decommissioned in 1945. The squadron was recommissioned in 1960 at the NAS Cecil Field, Florida, flying the McDonnell F3H Demon. BF-161 moved to NAS Key West in 1961 to stand alert during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So later that year, the squadron was transferred again, this time to NSA Miramar, California, and Carrier Air Wing 16. On 1st of February 1971, the squadron was attached to CVW-5 and the USS Midway. On 11th of September 1973, USS Midway changed the home port to Yokosuka, Japan, and VF-161 was based at NAF Atsugi, Japan. The black tail and red lightning markings came from the this time. On the 14th of January 1973, a McDonnell F4B Phantom II, BU number 153068, followed by Lieutenant Victor T. Kowalski and Enzai D.H. Plouts of BF-161 Chargers from the aircraft carrier USS Midway. CVA-41 was hit by 85mm anti-aircraft artillery approximately 10 miles 16 km south of Tanhoa, North Vietnam. The aircraft began leaking fuel and after flying offshore, the crew ejected. Both men were rescued. This was the very last United States aircraft that was lost to enemy action during the Vietnam War. Two days earlier, Lieutenant Kowalski and Lieutenant James R. Wise, flying 153068, had shot down a Vietnam People's Air Force MiG-17 flown by Senior Lieutenant Lu Kim Nu near the high form using an AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. This was the last air combat victory by a U.S. airplane during the Vietnam War. Lieutenant Kowalski of BF-161 recorded both of the last air combat victory and last United States aircraft lost to enemy action. From May to October 1986, the squadron relocated to NAS Wimo from transition training in the FA-18A Hornet and redesignation as a strike fighter squadron BFA-161. BF-161 was one of the only two F-4 fighter squadrons 
to be assigned the VFA designation. From October 1986 to June 1987, following the transfer to the Skarjavan from CBW5 and awaiting transfer to a newly established air wing, Carrier Air Wing 10, CBW 10, Tail Code NM. But following budget cuts, CBW 10 was disestablished. VF 161 was disestablished on the 1st of April 1988. This model aircraft was marked with the bicentennial marking for the 200th. Anniversary of the founding of the USA in 1977. After removing this paint, the ladder of the tail wing and the ship name on the back were painted in CAG Commander Air Group color. And the Japanese characters Air Commander were put in the air intake. This aircraft, BU number 151433, was the last CAG bird of the F4N type. After that, in August 1977, the receipt of the F4J began and the use of the N type ended. Today, we looked at 172 Magdalene Douglas F4N Phantom II VF161 chargers. Cagbird of CBW5 from Hobbymaster. My airplane videos are available every Thursday. Hope to see you again soon. Subscribe. Break ready now.